Hello everybody, I built Great Wolf Lodge at a 1 to 1 scale. Today we're going to be reviewing part 1, the water park area, uh, and then we'll go over the lobby in the next video. Um, so yeah, we're just going to start here at the entrance. This is based off of the Great Wolf Lodge that's in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, yeah, I've been here many times, but... Uh, I did not build this from memory. This was definitely built from tons of pictures. So to, so I could make it as accurate as possible. So yeah, let's go ahead and start over here. So I'll get to this in the next video. But right here, we have a little um, measuring thing that they have in here. This was my brother's idea actually to put that in there. And then right here, you have all of the life vests. I thought that was a pretty cool to... Uh, pretty cool design and this is uh, my design for a trash can and a recycling bin and then this was my design for a table so yep right here I, I thought uh, really looked um, very accurate to what it looked like in real life and it also is up to scale as well these are these windows actually go to the same floors. The measurements are literally perfect. So yeah, I'm just gonna start over here. Right here we have a couple of lockers. Right here is the bathrooms. Over here is um, the raceway. I forgot what it's called. Something like that. And then right here we have the little blue mats. I thought that was really cool. It, it just looks so accurate to what it looks in real life. And I'm going to be showing some uh, pictures uh, in the video that uh, that go along with it. Just to see how accurate it is. And then over here we have um, the exit of the water slide right here. Those two right there. We'll go to that in a second. And also, this is really cool because the staircase is actually exactly how it is in real life. So, um, all of the stairs are basically the exact same. Let's go over here first, though. So, yeah, you go over... Yeah, these are, um, these are water stands. And then right here is just a random place. I don't really know where that goes to. And then right here is a cool little design that has a bunch of boats in it. So, I put that there. And then, yeah, you go under these slides, and then you go up these stairs to get to uh, the canyon run and the tornado. So now that we're up here, you can go to canyon run or the tornado slide. I'll show you the tornado one. And then I'll show you the canyon run one. And then over here, we're going to see that in a second. Over here you have the tracks that uh, take the tube up to the top so you can uh, so you don't have to carry it all the way up here because they are huge and then here we have two water slides the entrances of them and then you have this huge huge building and then over here we have a bunch of just structures holding it all together and then right here is supposed to resemble the pipes that go carrying the water. So yeah. So here when you get off or when you're trying to get on, uh, you get off the water slide. If you want to go again, you can just go right up these stairs. If you want to just get onto the water slide, these two right here, uh, you get a mat from over there. You come over here. Um, or they have a bunch of tubes here. I might add that later. Um, and then yeah, you just go over here and it all leads to right here. So um, This is for the raceway as you see here as you can see here. There's uh, four different slides Then over here you have uh, the two slides the I don't know blue slash green one and then the yellow one and then here you have this pipe right here which 
uh, if you've been to the one uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina, there is tons of hair ties all over it. And goggles and just strange stuff all on top of this pipe. So I might add some, some details in that later. Then over here you have the giant wave pool. So under here you have these mob spawners to act as uh, the little grates that are in there that uh, move the water. And then you have this, which are basically like the things that float on top of the water. I forgot what the, the name of them are. And then you have some nice lights. And then, um, of course, you have a little bit of a slant to progressively go down. And I also... Yeah, I was, this looks really cool. Or it just fades into a little bit more of a bluer thing. And then there's also uh, waves in it as well that I made. Which was actually surprisingly easier to make than what it would be like to fill the entire thing up. So that was cool. And then right here is supposed to resemble the little... Um, the water coming out of uh, the ground there. And then here is like what I call a mushroom where it has uh, water flowing from the top and they go down. And when you step inside of it, you have this like nice laminar flow of water. And uh, you can kind of see that here too, which makes all of the, the outside looks all, looks all wavy and stuff. Yep, and then you have all the chairs set up here, a lot of chairs. Then over here you have the kid area. Uh, where you can bring your toddler and stuff. I thought this was really cool. Uh, it's just really detailed. This is supposed to be like the jet skis and stuff. I mean, you can only do so much. Um, but I tried to, you know, somewhat resemble everything that's going on uh, in the pool. So if you see a, a picture of what it's like... Uh, you see a picture of what it, what it's like side by side. You can see that it's uh, it looks very similar. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this giant thing right here. Uh, I don't really know what you call this, but it's like kind of the main thing that's here. Uh, you can get up from this entrance right here, and I also kept this true to what it looks like in real life. And then these things are supposed to resemble the buckets of water that go down here. And again, I tried to cram every detail I could in, in making this look like exactly what it's supposed to look like. Uh, exactly what it looks like in real life. Over here you have the giant bucket that fills up with water. And then as you can see, it's just spewing off of this red ramp down on there. The crowd below. You also have some grates under it. And here's some little water contraptions that you can pour on people below. Over here you have an umbrella. I don't even know why there's an umbrella in here. Um, but there is. I guess it's just a little... Um, little cool thing that they added at Great Wolf Launch. Over here are uh, some speakers that I made red because uh, it just looks more uh, like speakers than the other things did. I think they're originally white. Or they're red. I, I don't know. And yeah, these, these uh, are one of the only slides that uh, actually work because they have to be visible on the inside. So these were a pain to make, but it was worth it. It looks really cool. Um, so yeah, that's it for this area. And then over here, you have this giant place right here. Um, it's for toddlers and stuff with some cool water features as well. Over here, you have another life jacket stand. Some more tables. This uh, food area. I also blocked it off um, to make it look like it's closed. Like it looks like a garage door. And then this is a TV right here. Again, you have your trash can and recycle bin. And 
And this is supposed to be a vending machine. And then another trash can. And then I did try to do the interior on this. As you can see, I uh, did a little bit of lighting, but then I, I gave up because I wasn't making much progress on the build. So, um, yeah, that's cool. And then right here are completely identical, uh, handmade. Uh, it took a long time to, to just repeat all of these here, but in the end, it looked pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool detailed design that I, uh, I looked up some pictures of it. There's a fan in here. Um, some chairs, some lighting, some mini fridges and stuff. So yeah. And then there's some fake trees in here. As you can see, I used wool instead of leaves to just give it that um, art artificial look. Um, that, that fake look. Yep. Now let's go over here. So here you have some more lockers. And uh, yeah, I thought that this was probably the coolest area. Uh, my favorite area in this entire build so far. Um, just because it was the first thing I built and it looked super accurate and encouraged me to, to build the rest of it. So I really love it. It's super well detailed. Uh, this is supposed to resemble uh, the little pool that you have here in the back that have basketball hoops. Um, and then you have these really cool areas where you can step up. I thought that was really cool. And then over here you have the little net across and the lily pads that you can actually play in here. And then you have the blue mats that are on each side. So you don't bust, bust your head open if you slip and fall. Um, yeah. And then you have some lighting in here and everything. And then I detailed this wall. It's supposed to be a sky and some trees. Made it look like it was painted on the wall. I added a clock here. That's how much details into this build. Here's some more of those places. Tents. VIP areas. Um, over here are just some more tables, but a little bit more fancier. And then right here you have the exit of the canyon run slide and the tornado slide. And then once you exit these, they put the tube on this blue thing. It goes all the way up to the um, railway we, we saw earlier. Down here is also pretty cool. Because you can go down here in real life too. And water sprays on you and everything. Um, and then I blocked off all of this so you can't get to it. Fence posts really add a lot to the build. Just add some more detail. And it's, it's actually there in real life too. So, yep. Thought that was really cool. Uh, the lighting in here was pretty hard to make but um, I got it done and it looks cool it lights up the, the whole area of course let's get, let's do one more fly around of this build this build took me um, a very long time to make probably around a year which is a little bit surprising but I was on and off for the entire time, so it makes sense. But I also spent a lot of time on details in the beginning, and yeah, it took me a while, a lot longer than I wanted it to, and it discouraged me, so I decided to, uh, to quit for a while, and then I went back to it. But yeah, I completed it in a year. I also had a friend help me out with the roof because the roof uh, took a long time. Long, long time. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like on the outside as well. So as you can see, we did do a little bit far, but only like, I don't know, seven blocks. So yeah, this is the little 
uh, area where the slides are, as you can see. And then over here is the lobby area that I'm going to show you in the next video. So hopefully you like this video, and please like for a part two. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next video.